Got the power meter opened up for charging, so I thought I would make a quick update video, as I know it's been a long time. And this is what I'm calling version 3.1, as I've made a couple of small modifications just to the HX711 board. First one is I've added a crystal oscillator, or resonator I think it's also known as, from an Arduino, so it's 16 megahertz, and that's got the sample rate from 87 up to 116 samples per second, or hertz. The other modification is I've dropped the strain gauge excitation voltage from its uh, standard 4.2 volts, which is what these boards are usually set to, down to 2.2 volts to save a little bit of energy. And I've been able to get quite a bit of testing in recent months. Uh, the weather's been great. I've been carefully logging each ride onto a spreadsheet. And here's an example of the last ride that I did. And this is where I compare the power from each of the power meters. And I've found with this latest version there has been consistently a lower power read by my power meter. Um, and it seems to be a calibration issue because it gets uh, bigger, uh, higher power and smaller as the power drops. So that suggests a calibration issue. And you see it's been quite often around minus 15 watts. So to get an idea of what's going on, I've been keeping a track of the error of each ride and the calibration. And apart from this area here, this is showing some consistency um, and so recently here I did a recalibration and this time with the pedal in place and got a slightly different result and I would say that if this continues to be similar to this area here then I reckon we'll start getting a uh, better power reading um, so we'll see what happens. Back to the HX711. This is version 2 which I've currently got set up here ready for testing code on the NRF52840. The um, HX711s here I have decided I'm going to try and make my own board because there's a couple of modifications that I'm obviously making and there's various issues with these. For start, there's not really any place to put the um, crystal oscillator um, and also changing the resistors for the excitation voltage is also very difficult because these are absolutely tiny. And I've also discovered there are some problems with these as well. Um, this type here, the red one, is actually okay. Um, but it's got this extra unused area here. Um, which could be used instead for the crystal instead. Um, this one I've discovered, the way it's currently laid out means that you've got the inputs, so A plus and A minus, and they're going via a resistor like so, and then nothing. So this is the pins on the chip and then they've got the capacitor like that and this here is a 1k resistor now according to the data sheet this is actually supposed to be a 100 ohm resistor and it's supposed to be on each one like so so I thought well it's time perhaps I did a better board than what you can buy on eBay because clearly they seem to be the chuck out ones um, both of these, I'm not sure what was meant to go on there, there's obviously another 8 pin chip um, which was meant to go on there um, and these just have issues, there's no like ground planes on this at all um, so I thought well I can definitely do better than that This is the circuit diagram that I drew out so we've got the modifications and these resistors here these are not the values I'm going to put on there, I'm going to set those differently that's what comes with the board as standard I'll set those to give the um, around 2.2, 2.5 volts out here. And here's a very basic start at the PCB layout. I don't really know what I'm doing, but uh, it's all a good learning experience. Um, and so, yeah, 
I'll get this laid out and I might put extra positions on here for these two resistors so that you can have the option of using a through hole resistor um, and yeah it's quite interesting to reverse engineer this um, even down to the point where when I finished getting the circuit diagram laid out the recommended board size for the PCB was the same as the ones that you buy on eBay which I thought was rather interesting so obviously this is exactly how those have been made up so if they can do it then I'm sure I can too and that's it for this video thank you for watching